All right, everybody. Some of you are going to be upset talking about that. Maybe I'm throwing this company out there, but I had the same problem when I did the video about the scorched center drive shafts that I bought and one of them had a flat spot. And in the video, everybody was calling me out, telling me that I could have just called the company and had them replace it. But what people did not understand is not everybody is in the mood for sending back a product they just received that came from the UK, paying shipping to have it go back and waiting another month to receive something else. And there's a lot of people out there that do not know how to check their parts, how to check their electronics and making sure they're defective or not. And somewhere down the line, the product is going to fail. Even for those who are willing to send the product back, people need to know how to check and inspect their products and know what to look for and what to expect. Because I'm pretty sure if people like myself aren't doing these videos saying, listen, this TP motor is defective because the rotor inside is rubbing up against the, the um, inside of the can and it's binded up. I could just go ahead and call them and tell them to send me a new one. But what if this motor goes to somebody else that doesn't know how to check these motors and inspect them? And on his first maiden run or somewhere down the line, the motor shorts out and it causes a fire to his ESC and his entire car burns down. And then what happens? So, yes, I am going to call the company that I got the motor from. They're going to have to dispute it with uh, the manufacturer for the product because now let's cut to the chase i purchased this motor from island nut hobby island hobby nut or whatever this isn't their fault they have nothing to do with this and they probably don't even open these motors up and check them before they ship them out because it's not their prerogative they're not the manufacturer and it's not their responsibility to test these motors because if they took the initiative to take these motors and test them on a bench test there's already uh it's a low risk but there's already a probability of um, an incident or an accident happening where they may damage or compromise the product so they have zero obligation to test this the people responsible for checking the quality control of these tp motors is the manufacturer tp motors themselves so i was going to order this directly from the tp website but because they basically do not answer the phone and there is absolutely no way to get into any real communication with any representatives or technicians with tp motors i decided to buy from island nut hobby being that the other option would have been ebay and if you have any experience shopping through ebay it's even more sketchy so one thing that I am grateful for is that I did purchase from Allen Nut Hobby. This took three, six, this took four days. I placed the order on, on, on Friday, like three o'clock in the morning. And I received it Monday at five o'clock in the evening. And that is excellent timing for shipping and handling. And I am, I'm pleased. I'm, I'm happy. But now I have a problem that I need to share with you guys. Now, all motors, especially a motor this strong, is going to have um, resistance, polar resistance, because of the strong magnetic field. Okay? Now, I'm going to try to do this to where it makes sense to you. Because the problem, it is visible, and you can also hear it, and you can feel it. But because you guys are just watching this on your iPhone, or whatever the case is, you'll be able to see it, but it's going to be difficult for me to get the sound across. So I have one of these mics on my chest and I have this one here. This is a wireless stereo system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it to the motor, hoping that it's going to pick up the sound from the rotor binding up on the inner walls of the can. But even if you don't hear it, you are going to see it. You are going to see this. Just bear with me for a second here. Doing all of this takes time, and trust me, I'd rather just call them and yell at them and have them send me a replacement. But I am doing this for the love of the hobby, and this is also having 
what's the word having a little bit of compassion for those of you who are either less experienced or just never thought to question the question the reliability of a expensive RC motor now look inside I'm gonna zoom in for you we're gonna zoom in you see the rotor on the inside turning look where it's binding up you see with the you see right here let me show you see right here is binding up on that wall right there and look at the clearance on this side you see the clearance you see how it's touching there as i turn the rotor you're going to see that you're going to see clearance here and then it's going to be binded up somewhere else look look you see how you have clearance now see the clearance see how the clearance got bigger now look here it comes again look now it's binding up the microphone should be picking that up right here hear that And that's where it's binded. Now I'm going to keep turning it. And when you see that we have clearance that it's not binded, it ain't going to sound the same. Right? Right now it should be the quietest. Now here comes the bind again. Even if the audio isn't coming across, you can't deny this is off center. It's not balanced. It's warped. It's bent. You can clearly see it's making all the contact right here. And it is, look at the gap everywhere else. Right? Now look. Now it's got clearance here again. And it's touching a little bit over here. So what do you think about that? What do you think about that? I know a lot of you are going to have expressed opinions. Let them out. It's all good. Say what you got to say. 
you guys have experience with similar stuff like this, but I'll tell you what, I am not putting power to this. This is going right back where it came from. This center rotor rubbing up against the coils on the inside. No, thank you, bro. All good, man. Look. Bind it up. No clearance. And there's the clearance now. Come on. All right. 